The Atlas Cheetah was born out of necessity. During the Cold War, South Africa faced growing isolation due to international sanctions, especially in the military and defense sectors. With its air force relying on older aircraft like the Mirage 3, South Africa needed a jet that could hold its own in modern aerial combat. So, in the 1980s, the Atlas Aircraft Corporation embarked on an ambitious project to upgrade and develop a new multi-role fighter, the Atlas Cheetah. The Atlas Cheetah wasn't built from scratch. Instead, South African engineers took the proven Mirage 3 airframe and significantly upgraded it. They added new avionics, more powerful engines, and advanced radar systems, turning it into a formidable fighter. Now, let's dive into the key stats of the Cheetah. It had a maximum speed of Mach 2.2, a range of 1,300 kilometers, and could carry a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and cannons. Its agility, combined with advanced avionics, gave it a considerable edge in both dogfights and ground attack roles. However, what made the Cheetah unique was its durability, ability to perform in the demanding African environment. One of the biggest advantages of the Atlas Cheetah was its cost efficiency. By upgrading existing Mirage 3 airframes, South Africa managed to avoid the cost of developing an entirely new fighter. The aircraft was highly maneuverable, well-equipped for multi-role missions, and could operate with minimal ground support, crucial for a country facing international sanctions. What made the Atlas Cheetah unique was its hybrid design. It combined the best aspects of the Mirage 3 with cutting-edge technology from the 1980s, giving it a modern feel while retaining the classic airframe. It also featured in-flight refueling capabilities, enhancing its range, making it more versatile for various mission profiles. The Atlas Cheetah saw significant combat during the South African border war, where it performed admirably in both air-to-air -air engagements and ground attack missions. Its main opponent was often the Soviet MiG-21, and the Cheetah's superior avionics and agility gave it a considerable edge. Although it was never produced in massive numbers, the Cheetah's impact on the South African Air Force was undeniable. Although the Atlas Cheetah was primarily a domestic project, other nations took notice. South Africa later sold some of these aircraft to Ecuador, where they continued to serve with distinction. The Cheetah proved that even a nation under sanctions could develop a capable and modern fighter jet. Despite its many strengths, the Atlas Cheetah had its drawbacks. Its design, based on the Mirage 3, was already aging by the time it entered service. Furthermore, the limited resources of the South African defense industry meant that the aircraft lacked some of the cutting-edge technologies found in American or Soviet jets. In total, around 60 Atlas Cheetahs were built. They served in the South African Air Force from the mid-1980s until retirement in 2008. Today, a few Cheetahs remain in service with the Ecuadorian Air Force, a testament to their rugged design and enduring capabilities. The Atlas Cheetah was more than just an upgraded mirage. It was a symbol of South Africa's ingenuity and resourcefulness during a difficult time. While its production numbers were small, its legacy continues to influence modern fighter designs in the region. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on aviation history.